This is for Year 12 Methods. It comes out of Chapter 1.1. It's Question 23. The depth of water in a farm dam is modelled by this rule and called H of T. The T is the time since June 2001. Okay, so I need to work out what my T's are. Like this. So, June... 01 is t equals 0 and at that particular point it was 15 metres deep. The dam reaches an all time low in January 2002. Starts in June 2001. t is in time so t must be in months. Okay, so July, August, September, October, November, December, January. I'm looking for January 02. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is when it is 0. And it's an all time low of 0. It happens when it has no water. This happens again in February 03. So January 03 will be 7 plus 12, 19. So February 03 is going to be 20. And that's going to be 0 again. Okay. Part 1. Plot these on a graph. Okay. So I'll draw a graph. I've got H of T and it's 15 and at uh, 7 we're there at 0 and at 20 we're also there at 0. Um, the depth of the water of the firm is modelled by this. Um, if this situation could be modelled by a quartic, find its equation. Okay, it starts at 15 and then it goes down to zero. It then goes back up again, goes down again at 20, and then goes back up again. And since it will be a positive quartic, I would imagine my quartic is going to look like that. And my general rule for the quartic, because I know it touches at seven and touches at 20, I know that H of T is going to equal some dilation a x minus 7 squared x minus 20 squared and I know that h of 0 equals 15 this is the piece of information I haven't used this I used there and this I used there and because it went, reached an all-time low and it contains no water and it happened again in 2003, I know that they are touching this. Okay, so what I'd like to do is to grab my calculator because I need to use my calculator to solve for A. Okay, so on my calculator, I know that I have A bracket x minus 7. times, so bracket, x minus 20, both to the power of 2. Okay, that's good. And then you know it. I know that that equals 15 when x equals 0. And if I select that and solve it for a, I get that is my value for A. So if I take this that's my equation. Now I just have to double check and make sure that it actually makes sense. I wish to go from 0. Um, I need to go to 20 but then it comes up again, so I might go to 30. Okay, I'm going to touch this.
this drag and drop and then go zoom auto and I actually have to click previous. There you go, that makes a bit of sense. That's at 7, that's at 20, that's there. Using this equation from B, find the depth of the water in the dam at its fullest. Well, that there is at its fullest. Analysis, G style max, <coughs> 1.366 metres in decimal. 1.3 one one point three six six meters or one point three seven meters I'm not told whether it is exact or not um, not a great question because that actually hasn't been explained when will the dam level reach 15 again well it's going to get to 15 again up here somewhere so what I might do is um, I can do it two ways I can say when does that equal 15 and solve for x and 0 and 27 and if I had my graph I could resize no I can't resize so bring up mode again Zoom auto uh, analysis G solve X calc for when Y equals 15. That gives me my first one. I move across, that gives me my second, and I got 27. What does 27 mean? Well, um, March will be 21, April, May, June, July, August, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is September, so it'll be 15 again in September. Two thousand and three. And that's when T equals 27. And that's it.